Hello, I'm Ben from Meku, and today we're making a camera housing. We're going to show you how to extend the power of your 3D printing setup. With the multiplier, you can make production parts rapidly out of pure thermoplastics. To make these components, we're going to be designing two different tools. So for best results and easy part removal, there's a few considerations you want to take into account when designing for thermoforming. And we've got a really extensive guide on how to design for thermoforming on our website. So the main things to consider are draft angles, undercuts, and air holes. We're going to be using a high temperature SLA resin for both of the tools. You wanna to make sure it's been post-processed very well and all of the air holes have been evacuated of resin and you're happy with the final result. So to prepare your tool for thermoforming, you want to give it about four coats with a dry PTFE spray. And here we're using a optically clear three millimeter pure PETG sheet. You can create a completely custom profile for the material that you're using or one of the profiles on the machine. For three millimeter PETG, we use 150 degrees C and 60 PSI. When placing your models into the bed, always try and keep them in the center. The material is now at the perfect temperature. Lock it and then release all of the air and at the end of the cooling cycle, we'll be able to open the machine and remove the reducing plate and remove the forms part. Now we're gonna do a rough cut on the bandsaw just to get it off the excess sheet and get it ready for finishing. Or you can attach this part to a jig and automate your workflow by using a laser cutter or a CNC. We're just gonna take the rough edges off this part using the belt sander. And now we're using a three millimeter sheet of pure black hips. So now we have our final parts ready for assembly. We've got our pet G piece and our hips piece. And this is a foam gasket that we've cut out on the laser cutter. So for the full assembly, it's two parts, 10 minutes for forming and 10 minutes for cutting and assembly. So 20 minutes end to end with pure thermoplastics and a highly repeatable workflow. To learn more about the workflow, you can download our PDF guide from our website. 